guys, welcome to our video unboxing the Jakodowski turbine engine, especially for RC helicopters. This is the box and you will receive the box by UPS. When the UPS car driving in your street, you will be happy. This will be delivered at your door, the box direct from Austria. Peter Jakodowski is the designer of this engine. And I ordered an engine, a 6000 engine, specially for my Alouette 3 for the next season. And this is the moment we're going to unbox the turbine engine. Going to take the knife and open the box. So, open the box, take this out and at the top you will find your invoice and the instruction manual. The invoice is there. So the instruction manual to build in the turbine is always included into the box. Then. There's the engine, a shaft turbine engine produced by Jakodowski turbine engines in Austria, including the clutch, the flange and all the wires that is necessary. So this is the engine. Put the engine on the table and this is the box with all the accessory that you need to install the turbine engine. I'm going to open the accessory box and show you what's inside. There are the parts, a fuel line, especially fuel line, the fuel pump in there, this is a valve, a fuel valve, the switch, This is the ECU, electronic control unit. This is the battery, lithium ion battery. Another fuel valve. Some wires and the light for the ECU. And here's the control box, the external display. This is all what you need for your RC helicopter. So guys, everything is nice on the table. I'm going to do some more explanation. This part is the ECU electronic control unit. This device controls all your other devices like the fuel valves, the pump, uh, the engine, everything is regulated by the ECU. Two connectors to connect several functions and this is the control box to program the ECU. You see it's a very nice tool and it's the ETD external display unit. Then here is the main switch to put power on the engine system to, take, to do the startup. This is the lithium ion battery, three cells, and it provides you about 12 volts for the whole system. And here is some fuel lead with an eye, especially for the valves. Two extension leads also for connecting to the ECU, and this is the indicator light. Uh, that you can install outside of your helicopter so that you can see it in what kind of stage the engine is. This is the fuel pump for the engine and there's a specific fuel pump coming with the turbine engine. Those are the industrial fuel valves 
and the fuel valves are uh, in improved by the, by, the, by the other series that used to be delivered at the turbine engine. This is a professional valve. One is the start valve and one is the normal valve, the fuel valve. So, the turbine engine. This unit is a 6000. And what is very important when you're going to order a turbine engine by Jakodowski? There are several options. You have three types of engines. You have the Pro Edition, the 5000 and the 6000. And they have different RPMs. And you have the option to order the engine with two types of flange. This flange is 44 mm. It's a small size mechanic. And you also have a wide size mechanic that's 60 mm. And the clutch. You have to give Jakodowski exactly how much teeth you want on the coupling clutch. So those two things are specified if you order the engine. What type of engine, what kind of flange and what kind of coupling. So this was the unboxing of the Jakodowski turbine engine. In our next episode we will uh, show you how to install the engine on the mechanic. This is the engine. We just unboxed them and this is the way I'm going to install it on my helicopter. This is also a 6000 engine and it is installed on a beautiful Dutch alloy tree from the Royal Netherlands Air Force. And this one will be installed on my next helicopter, one of the demo helicopters from Rotores de Portugal. So it's very important to know what to do and what not to do if you want to have a lot of fun of your engine and a lot of years flying with the engine. This is a very re reliable turbine engine with high performance. And uh, so I said, next episode, how to install, how to adjust and what to do and what not to do. Have a good time. See you back in the next episode.